Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. How are you? Well, anyway, okay, sure. Um, you know that um, on the weekend I used two decks, and both of them are Radley Valentine. I use my Angel Tarot cards, gives me my main message, and then I pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay, so here we go for the weekend. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. What that means is I open myself up to my higher power spirit. And whatever the message is, I let it come out. Okay? Three cards face down, the second and third are reversed. To me, it's like pay a little more attention. First card for my Pisces is the Page of Water. We talked about new starts for you. Water energy, your energy, um, also Cancer and Scorpio energy, fluid, emotional, the page jumping in. You've had the, I feel like you've had this card before, jumping in, starting that new stuff, that new that new relationship, and that could be, again, relationships, um, job, career, work, personal, intimate, um, interpersonal, family type of relationship. I kind of feel like this is an income type of, you know, I tend to go more towards the income coming in type of relationship. It could be a new relationship, okay, even with yourself, okay? How you're looking at things, how you are looking at things for you. You know, maybe because of New Year's, you know, there's been this new resolution and it's you carrying on it, you know, carrying through with your resolutions. You know, just, just saying, I got to do this and I'm going to do this. So, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic ability. And whenever I hear new person or relationships, it's one of those three that we talk about. Here's the next card, again reversed. And here we have the five of fire. So, fire energy is our Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, passionate and burning. Fives are about some changes. Okay, changes in where we want to be, changes in what we want to do, changes in our goals, changes in where we see ourselves. Okay, so this goes along really well with what we're talking about. Changes isn't change isn't easy. It's not easy. It takes what 20, 21 days to change a habit or to break a habit or to develop a new habit. Changes and then it's very easy to fall out of that habit too. But change can be positive, negative, net neutral. It's just not necessarily. So this is you just kind of saying, I got to do it. 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 And trying to pull up that passion, that fire energy, which is not always easy for somebody that's of the water sign. Okay? You're a water energy. It's not always easy to pull that up. But, you know, when you get yourself focused, you actually do quite well with that, my Pisces. So... If you are making some life changes in you, you know, life changes right now, the weekend may try to skew you a little bit. So again, I go back, I'll go to the diet analogy type of thing. So say you're on a diet and the weekend is like, okay, I'm really doing really, really good. And then somebody pulls up a pizza and you're like, oh, that would be so good. Okay. So that, that, you know, there's gotta be some temptations that, you know, for you this weekend. Okay, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Your last card here is the life experience. Archangel Shemuel, things are changing. Things are changing. Things are changing. You are making some big, big changes. You know, you want it. You're passionate about it. It's not necessarily the changes aren't necessarily easy, but you're doing it anyway. You're doing it anyway. So let me support you in that. So, Archangel Shemuel, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. You can do this. Whatever you're doing to change, you can do this. There's also some changes in people's, you know, basically it's like, you know, changes in your thought processes. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, changes in your direction. And it could be, again, it could be very much work-related, career-related. It could be that, you know, maybe you have a very, um, you know, this is kind of, you know, maybe you have a very um, uh, stable 
career right now, but you've always wanted to go, you know, work for yourself. So I'm not saying for you to quit your stable career, but you, you know, but look into possibly starting that, you know, starting that other job, that other career, that other business as a sideline until it can actually support you, okay? That I feel very, I feel like that is a good example also, you know, besides just losing weight, okay? That's the other one. And yes, if you have a secondary, a secondary business to whatever your career is also, it's going to mean that you're going to be putting in more hours, more effort. Your temper might be a little bit sharper. So be aware of that. Your last card, Archangel Power Tarot cards, the Queen of Ariel, because these changes are going to work out really well for you in the natural. Okay, in you know, in not just in the supernatural, but in the natural. Ariel energy is Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, solid, that money energy, job energy, income producing energy, something to do with your home. So these changes, this you going forward, you saying, I can do this, I can do this, it will create some, it will create a better, um, a better outcome for you in that natural. You lose weight or you start, you start eating healthier, always, you know, check with your doctor first. You start eating healthier, it's going to create a better health type of energy. You start having that secondary business, but you're keeping, you know, it's going to stretch you, but it's going to help you in that long run too. So this is all, this is all that part of that, still that same type of journey that you've been on. So the queen of Ariel is mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So, you know, you're, this is, this, is, this is really a time for you to keep moving, okay? So, yeah, um, Dory, my little, and also my Pisces, you know, Dory, um, you know, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. So, my Pisces, if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. But as always, my Pisces, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.